and I'm rolling. Right. So as you guys know, we like... And cutting. So as you guys know, we like to talk about how to get cool shots, and there's a lot of ways to do that. You can get a crane, you can get a jib arm, you can get a dolly, you can even use warp stabilizer to improve your handheld footage. In my opinion, there's a definitive way to get cool shots, and that's using a drone or a UAV or whatever name you decide to call this. Basically, this is a quadcopter. It's essentially a fancy RC helicopter. They make a lot of toy versions of these, but what makes this one different is that it's actually designed to have a higher payload, allowing us to essentially mount a GoPro camera and get cool aerial shots wherever we want. This one in particular is actually called the DJI Phantom, and we featured it in other videos previously, and we got this from uh, DroneFly.com, which basically sells these and all these cool accessories you can get from. We've been experimenting with it, and I'm gonna tell you guys how it works. It's a little windy out today. It always makes me nervous, even though I know it really shouldn't be a problem. I'm booting it up, and right now, uh, these drones actually uh, link up with GPS satellites to determine its position. This allows it to actually like uh, re remember where it is in three-dimensional space. The light is blinking green, that means it's linked up with the satellites, so I'm gonna take this thing for a spin. And I'm rolling on there. Using the combination of GPS and everything and the sensors inside, it's able to pretty much uh, stay on autopilot like this. My hands aren't even on the controls. Pretty much compensate for any, uh, any wind being thrown at it, which is pretty nice. So just like you need a shock mount for your microphone when using it, it's actually good to have a shock mount or something similar for your camera while attaching it to a drone like this. Uh, the reason is because of the propellers, uh, is that when they're all spinning, basically, it causes micro vibrations within the camera. You can get an actual shock mount for your GoPro, or you can just quickly put one together using some foam. DJI is now making actually a gimbal head, which is basically a self-stabilizing camera rig which will automatically correct for most motion that the drone will give you. Um, but basically, that's one big thing to keep in mind, especially when using cameras with rolling shutters such as the GoPro. You'll start seeing it, your footage will look all wobbly, really kind of a pain in the butt to take out, so make sure you keep that in mind. We're actually gonna be using a even more crazy rig than this on an upcoming shoot, one that actually allows us to control the camera separately from the body of the drone. You'll see more about that in our next behind the scenes. So, I hope you guys learned something, and if you have any questions, hit us up on Twitter, or Facebook, or email, or whatever suits you best.